Scapa Flow is a shallow area of sea surrounded by several Orkney Islands. Its sheltered waters are abundant with wildlife, both above and below the waves. Emma Neve Webb is from Omri, or the Orkney Marine Mammal Research Initiative. And I'm heading out with her on a morning survey on some unseasonably calm seas. The waters around Orkney are a real hotspot for marine mammals, so with luck, we'll see something today. <laughs> It's always a bit of a gamble with wildlife, especially when trying to find fast-moving mammals below the waves. So we're all just keeping our fingers crossed for a sighting of maybe a porpoise or even a bottlenose dolphin. Very quickly, Emma spots a group of gulls tracking something in the water. But what they were following, none of us could have imagined. So there's a lot of excitement. We've just spotted some killer whales out there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And we've got them literally just out here. You're excited. Oh, I'm always excited. <laughs> oh. You just can't beat seeing them out here. Oh, my God, what a buzz. There are three orca, or killer whale pods, which are semi-resident here, moving between Orkney, Shetland, and the northern Scottish coast. The pod we've got with us today is the 65s, so it's the female called Razor who is in charge. We also have Buster. He is the biggest bull that is in the North Isles community, and he is an absolute beast. We're right in the heart of grey seal popping season at the moment as well, and that's why these guys are here. So in winter, I know this sounds brutal, but I guess those seal pups, as soon as they're weaned, they're on their own, and this is what the killer whales are waiting for. Absolutely. And it's not long before they find what they're looking for. Yeah, it's got a seal. There's a seal there, literally right in front of it. What it looks like is this is a little training session. One female sub-adult who's been working, practicing, honing her skills, trying to pin down a seal, a grey seal. And now she's been joined by what looks like two more females and a really small, like one-year-old. And we've just seen some blood on the surface of the water. So I think the seal, they finally have killed it. And you can see the birds there following the gulls, making the most of whatever scraps are floating to the surface. It's brutal, but this is natural behavior. Obviously, for the seal, this hasn't ended well, but this is what these killer whales have to do in order to learn the skills, to hone the skills, to live these long lives. Every single time you set out, you never know what you're gonna get. I tend to keep my expectations low. I thought we might catch sight of some cetaceans, porpoises, hopefully did not expect to see killer whales today and certainly did not expect to see an actual predation event. But the pod isn't hanging around. And keeping up with them is a bit of a challenge. Whoa, literally clean out of the water. Like, racing alongside these killer whales. They have a real turn of speed. Like Emma says, they will get as fast as a galloping racehorse. And then, just when we thought things couldn't get any better. Oh, Outstanding. OK, I'm really trying not to squeal. Oh. Do squeal. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Where's she going to go? They're literally swimming under the boat. <laughs> Have you had that before? No. OK. Never. I know this is going to sound weird, but I almost want to smell their breath now they're that close. You don't. <laughs> don't I? OK, I don't, <laughs> apparently. So what is this behaviour about? Why are they following the boat? This is socialising. This is very much being inquisitive, playful, and they've done the serious bit. They've finished their hunting, and now they're going to have a bit of fun. <gasps> oh! It's like they are playing with us. They are playing with us. Oh, oh my goodness. 
They are all around us. Ooh! This is by far the best wildlife encounter I have ever had in the UK. No question. This is a once in a lifetime. How lucky are we?